it feels like it's in flux. And on one level, people have been quite open about that, and so that's okay. On another level, um, I, I think we could have perhaps done with thrashing out more civic innovation actually looks like a means before we launched into doing asking people to actually go out and do it. Um, and in terms of what networks are and how they work and what you know what it means to us, um, again, there, there have been some mixed messages. And I think we weren't very good in that process at giving people sort of definable asks. So we sort of said to people, like, engage with, you know, we had some network facilitators and said to people, just engage, you know, engage with the networks, engage. And actually, I think it kind of panicked people a bit. And that creates a sort of lack of clarity about what exactly is being expected of us. What, you know, what does this really mean? And, and can we do it? The PowerPoint that was sent around, yeah. that's, that's right, the, the, yeah. the three categories yeah. of networks, yeah. That's quite an important distinction that's being made there, and yeah. one of which is, you know, we allow and enable um, fellows to do their own thing, but pretty much. And the other one seems to be implying that it determines what we work on in the programme, which is pretty different, pretty much more radical um, than its implications of what we're all working on. Because I mean, if that is the case, then it sounds like to me the pro what, what the programme might be in a year's time might not be what the one which we all joined and applied to jobs for. The current model of the <coughs> council and the idea that the council supplies the intellectual mm. thing um, isn't working. <laughs> um, so you know, it may be that this is a this is a more robust and a better way of uh, looking for the for direction than you know going to this single group. This is market testing on November twenty seven. We may not like what we see. I mean, we may wish to withdraw from it, <laughs> um, and we keep, we reserve the right to do that. That is, it is market testing, and that's why we've been very careful in the way that we've explained it to the fellows. That you know, this is to find out how we work together and whether this can be possible and it will be productive. So it isn't the real thing, it isn't the real deal yet. The whole point is to find out what the real deal might look like and then see if we really think it's scalable and, and cheap. Just um, to me, the whole thing sounds interesting, but I've got no idea really what, what it means in practice. And it's, it's remained fairly vague to me. And I'm not sure if anyone else has found that, but this talk of networks, I mean, you, you can't be anti-network, it's like being anti-people. So I'm, I'm into the idea, you know, but like... Um, Actually, And it's kind of... Uh, it's, kind of you know, it's, it's obviously... It's, it's like a no-brainer, you know? We're going to do something with networks. Like, yeah, excellent. But no one's actually explained, really, except for kind of Sophia's presentation at that event, which was fairly brief, what that means for us and what we're going to be expected to do. I've, I've got, like, three or four things sitting on my desk upstairs that are networks that I'm going to have to go back and do. Um... Yeah, I don't feel exactly clear about how they should look. Yeah, I think yeah. that. Yeah. Although I, I know that at the moment it's meant to be it's, it's meant to be early learning. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. everyone's yeah. like, okay, yeah. so I haven't missed anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So people being okay. told that it's early learning is good. <laughs> yeah. it's just well, figuring it out. It's an incubator. Yeah. I mean, that's what yeah. November okay. second is going to be. And we're only at the start of the process. <coughs> um, uh, even the twenty second is just a little tiny bit at the beginning, and we've still got a long way to go before we know where how it will yeah. pan out. Yeah. Um, Okay, I mean, I've drawn a diagram, I don't think it, is, it could be completely irrelevant and you might have drawn a different one, but my understanding of your context is the RSA is the fellows, or the RSA is the organisation, I don't know, and you can probably imagine it differently, and it is what people perceive it to be, not what it says on any memorandum of an article and so forth, so in that sense. Um, you've got the organisation, you've got the fellows, you've got this networks project, I don't know if I've drawn it too big in relation to the RSA, I don't know if I've drawn it small, I don't know if we're drawn in the right corner or that kind of sense. And it's both engages some of the fellows and is a part of the RSA. And then there is this sort of little group of network facilitation capacity that sits within the RSA and all that that demands of them, but is has a responsibility to this kind of project. I offer you that as a starting point. Is that how you see it? Can I suggest a simplification? Yeah, absolutely. Come up and do uh, it. All right. So I think this is the RSA. Yeah. 
particular scale. <laughs> and this is the phallus. And this is also networks. Because if you're if you're a fellow, you might as well be part of the network within the RSA, otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no point in a way if this was kind of animated, you might have your red RSA networks box kind of growing to overlap the RSA fellows box. Because I mean, you know, at the minute not all the fellows will perceive themselves as being interested in the networks, I would imagine, but you'd hope that that would change. I think this is yeah. why I asked the question about is it a vehicle for organisational change? Because um, you've got an our situation and then there's a situation of where we might be in say three or five years time. I'm more worried than I was about getting a really rubbish network. <laughs> it was just I'm aware that we're, we're all going to we're going to get these ideas and then we're all going to split them up. I'm afraid I'm going to get a really pants one. <laughs> that's my fear. That's, that's a really sort of interesting notion. That sense of um, like you both, you come across like as a sort of comfortable with being a team player, being part of something, at the same time as feeling <laughs> isolated and you know. Why would that happen? You know, well, yeah, why would that happen? You will dish them out, you all have one good one and one bad one each kind of notion. What I worry about is, is working with, uh, with people who are really rubbish. Yeah. No matter how good the idea is. Especially after this Saturday, which I spent with the fellows in Scotland. Like, really impossible people. I could lose my rag with that really quickly. I'm not sure when I put my network out on what that actually means, bad, but the concept of bad, that sense of yeah, good and bad sure is, yeah, it's fundamentally important. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can't go around saying things are rubbish, yeah. just yeah. from our point of personal opinion. We've got to form an RSA view of what, yeah. you know, judgment for. And, that comes back oh, to and if you think it's rubbish, then yeah. you know, that means you're not the person to leave. That it's needs to be owned by the fellows as well. They need yeah. to be able to understand and say that's a good network. Absolutely. It's not just yeah. what yeah. we define as. Thinking about you know, post November 22nd, all the kind of network facilitator training, all of that experimentation we did with that model. Um, people didn't know what was going on, people didn't know why they were doing it. There was like a lot of confusion about, hang on, so. We phone fellows, you know, why are they gonna why are they gonna want to hear from us? You know, what what are we gonna ask them? And very much that kind of attitude of like, I don't understand why we're doing this. Um, a lot of the network facilitated training we did with Jean, I think, was very you know, everyone said, Oh, it's fascinating, but I don't quite see where this fits in with my job or so I think up until kind of December, maybe early January, there was this sort of we don't quite know where this is going and it did feel quite chaotic, but actually quite creative and um, especially the event um, as a kind of microcosm of that it wasn't it was a complete madhouse but it was very creative and you know we've got lovely kind of images of people sort of huddling around in corners and trying to get like stuff going and thinking about new ideas and it, it was it did feel really productive the follow-up to that event which I know fellows said was quite frustrating I think was reflected in the sort of follow-up here is because people didn't quite know how to follow on from it people didn't quite know how to harness that energy people didn't know why you were phoning fellows and what, what we were trying to achieve from it. It was kind of almost like, oh, well, that was a great event, but okay, we're getting all our real jobs now.